What's up, world? This is Alexis with Style Illusions coming to you again uh, for a new video about how to color a synthetic wig. Um, I have a wig here that I don't really uh, plan on wearing anymore, and I decided to try to color it with some spray on color. I got a couple questions about if this was possible or how to do it, and I really wasn't sure. Um, and the only thing I could think of was spray on color. So I went to Sally Beauty Supply and I got a couple cans of spray on color. Um, I, the first one I got is Streaks and Tips Temporary Highlight Spray and the color is Burnt Brown. The other kind I got was Beyond the Zone Color Bomb and this is Ruthless Red. So I want to see if the spray on color stays on the synthetic wig and if it's going to rub off all over me which is why I have on a white shirt and this is an old white shirt so I don't care if it gets dirty. Uh, the instructions for both are the same. They say spray it on the wig uh, at least 12 inches away and it can either be used for highlights or for all over color they say. So uh, I'm going to shake them up and spray the color on and see what happens. Okay, I started with a 1B wig and the first color I tried was the burnt brown. And I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's definitely a glaze of brown on the hair now. Maybe you can see it in the light. It is very subtle and uh but I can definitely see it. Um and it's actually very natural looking and looks pretty nice. So on the other side I'm going to try the Ruthless Red and see how that turns out. Alright, um, next I tried the Ruthless Red and here is the result I got on a 1B wig. Uh, hopefully it's showing. Basically it looks like a pink glitter on the wig. It doesn't really look red on this 1B wig. So I don't think you can use these products to actually change the color of a wig if that's what you want it to do. Um, at least not to change it to Ruthless Red because that's not how it's coming out. It's coming out as glitter pink. So you can, I, 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 you can change the color but it's not going to be the exact color because Dark hair is going to make the color come out darker. Well, we already knew that. So, the color is coming off. It's, it's coming off on my comb, at least. I see it's pink. So, what I'm going to do is let this dry, uh, probably for about an hour, and come back to it. And I'm going to put it on and see if any of the color comes off on my shirt. And I'll let you know how it turns out. What's up? I'm back. Um, I let my wig dry. Well, I thought I let it dry, but uh, the color is still coming off on my fingers. So I don't think this is something that would be good for clothes um, that you care about or for really long wigs because the color does rub off. Um, as you can see, I have my pink going on that was supposed to be Ruthless Red. Um, I actually let it dry and spray some more color on it to see if I could get a, a better, a more saturated color and I was not able to. It still looks pink and when I ran my fingers through it, the pink came off on my fingers. So I don't think it's something that would stay on for a long time on a synthetic wig. Um, on the other side, I did the same thing with the brown. I sprayed some more on it. I don't know if you can see, but it is giving me uh, that brown reflection. Uh, it's, and it's almost kind of purple. That just might be my eyes, but I think with the darker color, the brown, I'm getting more of the effect 
because it's very subtle and it's changing this dark black to look more brown um, on the other side I think the red was affected too much by the dark color to really come out um, like the color on the bottle so I don't think it's possible to really get a full color change with these products uh, you can get a nice glaze effect like this and I think it will give you the result of making a black wig give more of a brown reflection or impression but I don't think if you really want a brown wig this is what you would buy uh, and also I don't think if you want a red wig coloring this whole thing will really come out the way you want uh, not to mention it has it has a glittery um, reflection so if you are looking for a deep color this is not really the, the products that you want to use so uh, and again the products I used are streaks and tips burnt brown for my brown and I think that came out okay it's really subtle and I think it it definitely toned down the black uh, the other product I used was color bomb ruthless red and it really came out pink um, but overall I think it's a good alternative if you just want to do something different with your wig they do look it does look more interesting um, especially the pink I think it'll be nice to just spray a streak in there every now and then so overall um, I don't think I'll buy more of these I'll probably use these up until they're gone but um, I wouldn't use it to try to color a whole wig I would just use it for a highlight um, which is one of the uses on the bottle just for highlights and for adding fun colors to wigs that can be kind of boring you know sometimes you don't always want to wear 1B or a black uh, or 1B30 sometimes you want to wear a blue or a purple uh, just for a day or for an event and I think that's what these are really good for so thanks for taking the time to listen to me as always please stop by my site styleillusions.com and uh, drop me a note tell me what you think check out my tumblr blog that's also on styleillusions.com and have a great day